Oh, hooty who indeed there, BBPN and guests of course, Season 10, well underway now in this final round here before we start determining the playoffs here. There are games going on all over the place tonight, but you know, this is the first one we've got in here reporting. Uh, let's see how much of a fucking disaster this one is. Good day there, Constable Ed. Yep, I see he's back for the ladies. Yes, we got ourselves one hell of a dunny game coming on here. So, in this division here, technically this is the final game they play of this phase here. When this division started... <coughs> <coughs> they almost choked on it anyway. Yep, nope, seriously, they almost did choke up. Both teams were very heavily favoured. The Amazons came in battered. And of course, the Dallas Dead Boys came in strong. However, Nuffle, they had really offended. They didn't know how they did it, but apparently that's what happened. Here they are. Amazons are now stuck in a must-win game. And of course... Time for a true display of skill. Dallas Dead Boys get themselves a free reroll to start this one off here. The Dallas Dead Boys would love to win. Both these firms have suddenly gone a 0-0-4... Zero, zero and they've gotten themselves into the preoccupation of they need to win this game. It, it, it's no debate. Tie, absolutely useless. Win gives them a fighting chance here. So they're going to do their best. I can see Dallas Dead Boys here. Four re-rolls. You wonder why he's got so many re-rolls? Nuffle. One word. Nuffle. It really has seriously been. And it, when you see a talented coach like this constantly abused by Nuffle, you know, if he came in with six re-rolls, would it be enough? Probably not, I hate to say. You have seen how his dice lock has been this particular season. First round, he started off okay, and then the problems began. And it's just been non-stop ever since. Well, here comes good old boy. And runs slamming into a block, so you can see what he was trying to do here. He's got the tackle, wants to get rid of some Amazons early, because, yeah, you can see he has this problem. He's got no reserves, none whatsoever. Amazons, well, neither do they either, so it's a loner battle, sir. Oh, yeah, there's loners all over this field. I uh, mean, we'll take a look here at the Sisters of Leith. They've got gallons of Alvin wine. Apparently, he's promised them a lot of things. One die blocked, a start is dirty. Immediately files it, but he does get it on the repechage. And then goes right back to another skull. Oh boy. I know, shut your mouth. Absolutely shut your mouth about his coaching style. Oh my god, the Amazons immediately piss it away. Alright, big hit right there. It's only a stun, unfortunately, there, but yeah, so far things are looking up for the Dallas Dead Boys, because once again, the Amazons are showing their... The firm is fantastic. The coach, there's many discussions about his choices. <laughs> there's many discussions. All right, two nice. Push me, push you. Well, it's time to go for the surf and turf. You cannot ignore this. No, seriously, it's Amazons. You can't ignore it. Gets the hit, there it is, nice power into the crowd she goes, and that is solidly a KO. Yo! Yeah, yo indeed. Alright, well that takes care of that problem, and that is now a good solid removal there. So that means Dallas Dead Boys are enjoying a play advantage. A bit awkward here, running back and forth, but you can see the condition of the Dallas Dead Boys are down too. The team started off dynamite. But the way the second round has gone, he's been absolutely destructive to this firm here. That's why they've only got one werewolf, one ghoul. They've got two whites, and after that, they have been scraping the barrel trying to get any team or semblance of a firm back together. And meanwhile, that happens. Better alive, you are coming with me. Yeah, and it's Lou's appointed strength there. It's his own block. He's even already burned the reroll. Yay. Yay. And the regeneration, of course, fails. Did you see, you see what I mean there? Nuffle doesn't like him. 
Muffle just tell he likes him. Tell he pissed on him. It really did. Ah, uh, uh. My mind did roll to one and nine. He figured, what's the odds anything bad can happen? Behold, right there. And he's trying to hold his rerolls for something critical. And yet, there, that's what happens right there. Boom, goes the dynamite. Now the Amazons have a golden opportunity, and they're absolutely going after it. Unfortunately, Tackle's a little preoccupied, but the Amazons... Risk is the business. They're certainly going to make a try of it. Meanwhile, push me, push you here down the field. They're keeping him right in the dunny here. Strength 4 Blitzer. Rhea Dross. She's going to be the free safety for this drive. But here it is. One die block. Makes the dodge. Dives in. This is a blodge play. It's a skull. No surprise. Rerolls. Block on block. Time for a true display of skill. Ah, it truly was a display of skill there. Skill of rerolling the dice again. All right, well, so far, the Necros, they're now down a player for the rest of the game, so they're not happy about this. They do need to get some more removals going. And they're trying. God, are they trying here. Push me, push you here. You know what the biggest shame is? You can see it right here. Two dirty players, he absolutely can't use them. Normally, I would say, well, you got to use them correctly, but the way this game has gone, the way this firm has had things happen... He can't use them. He does not have the spare players. Unless it's an absolutely critical and surgical foul, he can't use them. Meanwhile, charges in trying to get the strength four. And again, push me, push you, and oh, behold, push me and push you. Oh, God. It, it, it just doesn't stop. Stop cheering. Well, there's the headbutt and takes that one down. Smart one. I understand now. And it's a stun. And that even has cost him a reroll. He can't kill the strike four. He's hitting her with, with tackle. Can't even fucking hit her. And the Amazons continue a relentless assault here. Are they going to go and try after the ball again? They can do it. It's a one die block. Maybe two if they do it right. Oh, yep, they found a way. They're going to make it two. Here we go. Two die serve the top. It's a block. Decides not to reroll that. And the Amazons figure, you know what? There's still some blocking you do down the field. One die. Push me, push you. Amazons just throwing shade up and down the field here. Another solid block in the zombie. He takes him down here. And the Amazons going to risk it. Nope. Casually dodges away here and is going to start capping the poor ball carrier. Because his life doesn't suck enough already. Meanwhile, there it is. Block fails straight into a KO. Your pain shall be legendary. Amazons, you, you gotta love their coach. You gotta absolutely love their coach. All right, well, let's just get down to boogie lights. Let's just get down to boogie, ladies. Right now, it's only KOs. And remember, he's got gallons of elven wine, so it's not like he really fucking cares. He's gonna get them back. It's the failed regeneration that's the problem right now. Because the Necros are thinking, well, sure, we'll score, but now we're down a player for the rest of the game. And, and these ladies will just keep on coming back unless he rolls once. So KO's aren't helping him. Do you understand what I mean there? It's really not helping his situation at all. All right, well, there it is. Blocks away with the ball carrier because look, you can understand what I'm saying. He needs removals. Real ones. One and nine. Rerolls because he's getting utterly frustrated. Finally knocks her over. And can't even break the armor. Alright, here we go. Solid block again. Gets a pow. AV7's nigh fucking invulnerable again. The Amazons, except for the two KOs, just will not fucking break, sir. And so the Amazons get another crack at the ball. It casually dodges away. Goes after the loner zombie. Does get the hit. Even gets the takedown right there. All right, now what she do? She just steers right back into the ball carrier again. And meanwhile, more Amazon stage up. And they park on the ball carrier. Now, like I said, this is really a must-win game here. The Amazons, more than anyone else here. Let's so face it, Goat Boy and the Dallas Dead Boys really think the season's pretty much over at this point here. Mind you, a win for honor would go a long way here. Sisters of Leaf, they're in the same boat. They need to win to even have a prayer at that last playoff spot. And they went in looking so well. Turn five here for the Dallas Dead Boys here. The Necro Firm 
trying to get a real removal. And we're not saying just a KO. Like I said, Elven Wine, they need a real solid removal. Someone right off the reservation. There we go. Solid. Push me, push you. All right, here goes the power of tackle. Charges in, gets block, will take block, and of course, it's a KO. The unseen me is the deadliest. Which is utterly fucking useless, according to him. It's that Amazon might for the one actual injury that's made all the difference because the regeneration failed. You go, hey, he's getting removals. Alvin Wine, he doesn't care. He's just gonna roll anything but a one, they all come back. He does not care. Now you see what I mean? He needs an injury. Injury, she'll stay the fuck off the pitch, finally. Now it is turn five here. Amazons. Still in it because, well, the dead boys are now realizing they're going to have to score this because nothing's going right. It's cost them two rerolls just to get to this point here. And the only time they didn't reroll, oh, there we go. Well, one and nine. Rerolls it. Push me, push you. That is all the rerolls done. And they're trying. They're really trying here. <laughs> Of course, you know, you need to try harder, son. Maybe a little ligament. Oh, fucking really? Oh, God. Yeah, there, there it is. Summed up from the dugout. Well, makes the regeneration at least there. So 50-50. But you see what's going on here. Bang! There goes another one falling down here, and the Amazons just plow the road, charge in, casually dodges past Mr. Tackle. You saw that? It's what right back, and then goes back and marks him anyway. Because reasons. It's almost like the Amazon coach is deliberately playing to utterly frustrate the poor Necros. And the Necros honestly and seriously are trying to win here. They'd really love to win. But they need to win harder. If that makes any sense to you. Goes charging in. Gets the solid power. Gets the strength four. Let me guess. It's only a stun. <laughs> only a stun. All this effort. There's another tackle. Gets another takedown. Bang! You fool! Oh, gee. Guess it's only a stun. Oh, well, it's time to finally score this thing. Fa la la. They're on the board. One to nil. Well, you can tell their supporters have definitely shown up. All season, the supporters of the Dallas Dead Boy. And you can see, once again, they have shown up again. He does have the fame for this game here. Amazons, of course. No rerolls left here. And, yeah, you can see, believe it or not, the Amazons failed with Elven Wine. They failed two of the fucking three. That's a bright side. That actually is a bright side there. It actually shows that, yep, the dice definitely are having a bit of a piss here. So Amazons, three turns to score, no rerolls whatsoever, and they're going to be down two players here, so it is nine on ten. And the Amazons, of course, have to keep the loner girl on the field here. Let's see if the Amazons can somehow find a way to score it in three turns. All right, here we go. Solid kick down the field right there. Amazons just going to go underneath. She's good at underneath balls, isn't she? Ah, uh, free reroll. That are alive, you are coming with me. Well, that helps the Dallas Dead Boys, means the sisters aren't getting that one either. So the Dallas Dead Boys have so far enjoyed all the rerolls. Clench the butt cheeks. Yeah, clench the butt cheeks all right there. There's an immediately a removal, and the Amazons just start evening the numbers up one more time. Amazon training dynamite. 
Another solid hit, another solid takedown right there. Amazon's crashing through the walls, crashing through the walls. She's bait. 100% she's fucking bait. Because you know what he wants to do, he wants to go over here, but that's bait. That's too good of a target to pass up. Meanwhile, another solid hit by the Loner versus Loner action. Nothing really going on there. Amazon's uh, staging up and they're marketing everything. One die block. There's the skull. So much for that fucking idea. Shenanigan! 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 You're not a dwarf, lad. You're not a fucking dwarf. You're not getting away with that anytime soon. Of course, then again, we've been watching coaches get away with it all fucking season. So, column A, column B. It really fucking is. All right, Dallas Dead Boys, the Necros here, trying to prevent the uh, tying score here. They do have three rear elves in hand here, so they can afford to be a little greedy if they want to. And right now, I, I would highly endorse the greed. 100% would endorse the greed. The way this game's already been going here, 100%. I told you, that is too tempting a target to ignore. They, oh, God, the ghoul's gone up in front here. That's a bit risky. Well, they've got hit pit. Oh, come on. Double skulls. Has to rerail. Does get the tackle on the rerail. Got it down. Message for you, son. Oh! You fool! Well, unfortunately, well, it's a great idea. You can see what he's trying to do here. He's figuring if he gets lucky, he can get the ball and score. It's, like I said, tell the coach, Nuffle hates him. Wow. Just a casual block right there. One die block takes it down and all of a sudden once again and there's another failed regeneration. So suddenly the Dallas Dead Boys are out. Another fucking player for the rest of the game. Oh well, there's a skull. So much for that idea. Oh shit! Oh shit! But I hate to say, that removal, that's huge. That is really fucking huge. Because all the time the Amazons are getting all their players back. Another big punch down right there. Takes the lady down. Can we see a real removal? Nope, just a stun. That's all we see there. Message for you, sir. Uh, it goes back to, he's like, well, he's got dirty players. Well, technically not anymore, he doesn't. And again, he, he can't use them. He'd love to use them. He would absolutely adore using them. All right, the risks play. This is the play he wanted if he had tripped on the gerbil. Gets the takedown. There she goes. I approve. Runs in. Gets the calico. It's time to score this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'll wipe all horrors from this world, starting with you. Now, I know what you're all thinking here. Look, he had to get up for three, four, five, six, hit for seven. He, he was just out of movement. If you're thinking, oh, he didn't get... No, no, he ran out of movement. He tried everything he had. Let's go take a look in there. Gets the armor, gets the scatter. There's the GFI. He's got one more GFI left. The problem is he realizes it, and there's nothing he can do about it. He's one pip short, all because of that durable last hurt. Okay. So don't go criticizing him. He realized it. He had that GFI perfectly planned. Rolled a one. Because of course he does. Like I said, I want you to understand. That wasn't the coach's fault. Not by a long shot. I approve. Mind you, give credit to the Amazons. They didn't quit either. They tried to get the fucking ball back. And how well did that actually work? That well, eh? That fucking well. <laughs> Well, there you are. Halftime score. The Dallas Dead Boys are hanging on tooth and grit. One to nil. This halftime, of course, is brought to you by Dead Bull. Because remember, the Dead Bulls definitely go faster. Straight through your intestines and into the crapper. Dead Bull. Well, what else are you supposed to drink when you've run out of tablets to mash up? Anyway... Let's carry on there before we discuss my other horrid habits here. Alright, Amazons. As predicted, this time the Elven Wine does kick in. They got all the replacements back. Meanwhile, over here, well, the KO did recover, but now the Dead Boys are down two players. It is 11 on 9. 
the Amazons know what they need to do here. Score early, score quick, and oh, perfect defense. That's going to work. Panda. Well, they can only help this works because the dead boys, as they can see from the screen of the sidelines, would love to make this fucking work. And again, it goes back to what just happened to this team. He's only got the two people with Bill Bexley speed. Normally, I would argue at this point here, Necro definitely could outspeed the Amazons. But he's down to only two players that can do it. Block on block here. Amazons completely slamming the wall here. But the way they've been going, that seems to be working well. Brutality. See what I mean? Well, well it's only a stun this time there. Meanwhile, over here, solid pow, solid takedown, another zombie goes flying, got to find where the brain is and the brain pan there. Amazon's run back, casually picks up the ball, easy peasy, halfly squeezy there, advances up. Don't worry, she's not throwing anytime soon. I have zero criticism with this, zero. Why? Again, you're down two players, you need that mobility as your free safeties to try and get, because remember, you are up 1-0. And the Amazons, it's a must win. Oh, God. Shame. 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 That Amazon training program's fucking dynamite. It's a KO, but that's huge at this point. That is a massive removal off the pitch, and suddenly the Amazons now have a three-lady advantage on this field. And they're going to take advantage of that one here. Here they go. And they're going right after the major one. They're going right after this lad. Because they know he is the most critical piece probably now left to the Dallas Dead Boys here. Well, the werewolf's technically number two at this point. But the ghouls, all the ball handling and blodge ability here. Something that the Amazons have zero capability of dealing with. They should talk. You start realizing this Amazon firm so much fucking... Oh, ah! What a day! What a lovely day! Yeah! I, you, you can feel the pain coming from this necro coach. It's a desperate play. I get it. It's one die, and he double skulls it. What else would he fucking roll at this point in the game? Fortunately, he didn't get broken. Speaking of, though, yeah, he's just getting knocked down all over the field here. Now the Amazons have got the opening they need to try and score this quick. Because, well, he can't go really anywhere, and he's down for a while. Meanwhile, solid hit. Takes down the white here. Amazons now can do something impressive they very rarely do. Actually throw to a catcher. Here they go. Got it. Brilliant. All right, and there she goes, running down the field. Gonna go strutting in as fast as she bloody can. Run, bitch. Run. It is what it is. And you can see here, Amazon's getting sort of... And they're going to continue concentrating fire, trying to get rid of the ghoul. And they get a pal! So much for fucking Blodge. Don't worry, he's still alive there, chop. Still alive. Amazons. The Amazons, believe it or not, are now in a position where if they wanted to, they could start fouling, and it wouldn't hurt them right now. It really wouldn't. They do have a three-lady advantage. At this point, that's actually not a bad idea, especially with the loader when they get a chance here. Meanwhile, Dallas Dead Boys here. Trying desperately to stop this one. They really are falling, for goodness. Hello, yep, the gerbils. They've already done damage today. They've already done a bit of business. Push me, push you here. The Necros, they're desperate at this point, trying to find some way to slow down the Amazons here. They might be up 1-0. But they're really having a rough game of it here. They are really having a rough game. Well, there's a headbutt, but of course. It needs to be about 20% cooler. Uh, it definitely did. It 100% did. It just got nowhere. Meanwhile, block and block. The werewolf just can't get the business done. He's got tackle. He's got face rip. He, he can't get an injury at all. This is the problem with Elvin Wine. He, he can't get anything to stay off the pitch. And meanwhile. The Amazons just keep on slamming away, and there they are, tied up at one.
Oh, I tell you, I always love the passion of those of those supporters. They always did. Oh, they get a blitz! Oh my god, here we go! This is gonna be terrible. Oh god. I know, it really is the worst possible result that can be rolled at this point here because the KO stayed out, the Amazons, three players up fighting for the lives, they go and get themselves a stun. And now they're just going to be crashing in, going after this Calico as fast as they fucking can. Must win game and the Amazons get the most critical blitz of the entire fucking season for them. And here they come. They're not even going to keep anyone back. There's no point. They are going to slam in as hard as they can here. Now, I'm going to point out a mistake being made at this point here. The Amazons could have taken advantage of here. All right. Pausing it up to show you an example here. The Amazons, well, they did the blitz over here. What they really should have done, they only had to play over here. Hit him at least for one die. You know, when you have the chance there, well, it's a blitz. But instead of taking the blitz here... Because of how the positioning is, take rid of him, and then this lady could have gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, go, go, and been underneath the ball. Alright? And then everyone else could have just peeled the corners and trust and dodge, okay? Instead, the Amazons do this. Don't worry, it's still a horrible situation. Don't get me fucking wrong. This is still a terrible situation here for the Dallas Dead Boys, alright? They gotta try and recover from this one. All right, here we go. Solid punch gets the loner. That take on Rom is doing wonderful things there, and the Amazons just don't fucking break. If they do, it's only a stun or a KO. Nothing else, and the KOs just keep coming back. Oh, what are we doing here? Well, here's why, and you're about to see why. This is called desperation. They need to break through. They need to score. Power of Frenzy to the finally hits her. Finally takes him down. And you still can't break the fucking armor hard enough. Oh shit! Oh shit! You see what I mean? It's stun again. You needed that at least off the fucking pitch. Well, there's a skull. Has to reroll that because he's desperate at this point here. Gets the tackle, gets the knockdown, but doesn't get anywhere. Yeah, this is looking bad, isn't it, lad? All right, this is very much looking bad. All right, so. What can the Amazons do on this one here? Okay, the Amazons can very clearly, if they get creative, can get two dice on it. The trick would be, and they especially want the tackle, and she's right here. They want her to do the blitz, alright? So if she needs to basically dodge out, that should be easy. Go in, hit there. So you need to probably put a player here, here, because you can do this. Two dice, peel in, or peel in, two dice with tackle, Okay. Think the Amazons are actually going to do that? Well, you're about to learn. Amazons are going to do anything but the sensible play at this point here. All right, well, they, they got the basics. They fail this one, unfortunately. They do fail that. All right, well, two dice here. All right, they do get the knockdown. So that means she needs to go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a go. Nope. Nope. Absolutely does not do it there. Oh, I'm not saying this is making life any easier for the Necros, but you basically waste it. You used to reroll, and you wasted a chance for a two dice block. Reroll, two dice block with tackle. You missed your opportunity there, lad. And there's the file. Bye bye. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! A uh, lovely for who? I've got no idea. But yeah, the old dead supporters are giving every erg and arg the they've BBC got. Would like to apologize. For the following announcement. Hello! The raid is here! The raid is over here! Yes, who, who, what, what? Yep, it is the crew, of course. Oh, come on! Get out! Yeah, the gerbils are doing it to him again! Come on, lad, you can do it! You're about to see utter desperation at this point here. Go, boy, fighting so hard to win this game. He just cannot get out of the situation. One die with the ball carrier. He's just not getting out. Oh, well, he's trying. Meanwhile, Werewolf. Can we see a Werewolf do something useful this game? Come on, ladies. Or lads. I don't know. I haven't looked at it. He still can't knock him down. And you failed. Oh, Christ. Okay. 
So now the Amazons have got everything they can do to just beat this poor ball carrier to the fucking ground. Let's see how they do here. Misses, block on block, still alive. The battle rage is on, over here, push me, push you. Shoves a, shoves the poor bastard right into more ladies. All right, more out there we go. Finally, finally, the ball carrier just goes down. I hope you die from hugs. Killer hugs for everyone. It's a good bounce, unfortunately. It's a very good bounce from the Amazons because they can easily control it. There's the hit. Oh no. Ultimate fatality. Oh, that might be the checkout time. There goes the tackle place, and that is course a KO, and that is huge at this point here. That Amazon training clearly paying off there. And now the Amazons just need to casually pick up the ball. Easy peasy, Adley squeezy. She's got the calico, and there she goes. Witness your doom! Amazons piling it on. Two dice over here, trying to get rid of the tackle. Easily takes them down, no problem. And I don't think they've got any more options left here, unless it's a miracle play. Up for three, four, five. So they can tag her, and that's all they can do at this point here. Big block, and I'll take that. And there's another KO right there. Oh, God. Hey, that's pretty good. And God, when they're suddenly the Necros collapse, that is it. They're suddenly out two players on the turn. The Amazons fighting like dynamite. And there they go, another casual power. They're just going to keep on going. Yeah, they can do this easy piece. They're going to go pick on the poor dog. Dog goes down. Who's a good boy? Not you, lad. Not fucking you. He's been terrible this game. And he's, he's tried. He's tried. He just can't roll basic dice. Either he just doesn't do anything or just barely knocks him down, does nothing. Look at the miracle play. Gets up. Get up. Unfortunately, that blocks the tag up. That's actually the worst place to be. That blocks it. All right, go, 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 go. Well, now he can't do it and he realizes it. He suddenly realizes what the hell he just did to himself. I'm surrounded by idiots. So that gives the Amazons yet another turn. So they can actually stall. They can actually stall. Maybe the only mistake made this entire game by the Necro Firm, there's nothing they can do to fix it. All right, solid block right there. The Amazons just relentlessly keep up the punishment here. Remember, notice here the Necros, they are out of rerolls and they had fucking four. They had fucking four, they're all gone. That was a terrible drive, nothing went right. Amazons figure, you know what? We better score this, get on the board. Two to one. This has just gone horribly wrong. The whole game has just gone horribly wrong. <sighs> and the Amazons just continue relentlessly. Necro Firm. Actually, neither K They get one of the KOs back, but the other ones are out. So it is 7 on 11. They get themselves a reroll. They need that one. I find your lack of faith disturbing. It's not lack of faith, lad. It's not lack of faith. We've just... Nuffles just teabagged this poor coach all fucking second round. It has been horrible to see. All right, dodge this. Can the Necros score? The answer is yes, they can, but they're going to have to go absolutely full balls to the walls. Thanks to pick up. Thank you. Something goes right. Here goes the iffy boy. Well, he's going to go all out and try and score. He's got no choice. This lad, I hate to say it, might have to go over to here. Nope, he's going to protect the ball carrier. All right, well, what else is he supposed to do, really? It's a desperate... Oh, really? Kill him, do it! Shoot him! The Amazons have been doing this all fucking game. The Amazons have been doing this all game. Just wham, and there it goes. Well, at least the regeneration worked this time. Yay! 
But now he's down another player. He's suddenly down to all six on the offense. Big solar kick right there. Amazon defense. Thronk. Thronk like bull. Amazon still moving players up. Now the Amazons, if they really want it, can get two dice here. No, I'm serious. The Amazons can get two dice on the poor ball carrier. Here's how. One, two, three, four, five, six to go. That puts a player there. You've got this one marked. Then you just have to make another player mark this one here. And you can just charge straight in if you want. Take your pick. There's ways of doing it. I didn't say it was perfect. But it depends. If you get this block here, well then that's really easy suddenly. Do the Amazons even do that? Oh, I've been pulling that out for all game here. The Amazons keep misplaying these... What should be two die blocks into barely one die blocks. They keep doing this. And you have to keep getting away with it too. Alright, push me, push you. Alright, Amazons. Another blow by blow a court. Hit the zombie. They're going to probably stage up. Yes, they are. Fuck the Necro's life. And then they just crash in because why not? They've got numbers. And the Amazons have numbers worry. And meanwhile, everyone else stages in. Dallas Dead Boys. The only option they have is Blitz Out. And I hate to say it, it's this way. I didn't say it was easy. He's going that way. Uh-oh. That's a mistake. Well, there was a reroll. Gets it on the frenzy. Gets the takedown. But now you see what I mean. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Stupid idiot. Wasn't going to make the dodge anyway. But you see what I mean? He had to go this way. Because this would have been, if he gets it all, an easier three dodge to get out. Here, he's having to force his way through. He's looking for falls. Do you see what I mean? But at this point here, you understand the frustration going on. He, he, it's, it's just, it's been that kind of game. It really has. And the Amazons just keep on beating away here. Turn 16. They're feeling very confident. They have done it. They have done it. They have taken Destiny right there in their hands. Solid grip right underneath the cojones. Stand firm, fall down. Well, the Amazons at least aren't fouling. They could have all game, the way this has gone. They could have fouled all game. They've chosen not to. They've been rather dignified about this here. Well, apparently their coach is going to take him out for a very good $1,000 plate dinner, apparently. No one's told him that yet, but that's how he gets a win out of these ladies. There we go. Stand firm. No, nope, he ain't moving. All right, two more. Stand firm. Not getting anywhere, Sunshine. The Amazons go. Hey, look at this. Rolls a casual six. Dodges away. Blurs along. There's the throw. There's the fire. Let's re-roll that again. Woohoo! Overtime. There it is. Throw again. And she fumbles her balls. Yay. Because <laughs> she's not used to handling something so big, eh? She's talked to my sister. Anyway, that is it. They don't even bother. And I get it. That one is done. There it is. Your final result. They have seized Destiny back there. And the Amazons finally get their first fucking win of the second round. And that may be enough Barely get into the playoffs. But right now, that's out of town scoreboards now. It is out of their hands. Destiny awaits them to find out what happens in that out of town scoreboard. Whew! And meanwhile, I'm going to have to go looking at the out of town scoreboard myself. I understand some crazy stuff's going on in there. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for your support there. It's been an interesting day to say the least there. I feel for you, lad. Except for that one minor mistake, you played a brilliant game. We're, we're going to have to send a package of cigarettes, flowers, and menthols to Nuffel. I swear, just for you, because we need to do something about this. Nuffel, bless your dice. Please, his! Not the way you've been doing it all fucking season.